Weaving the blueberry waffle towels from the Super Soft Cotton Towel Collection. You're going to love this pickup technique using our Cottontail 8 yarns in white and natural and our Caterpillar Cotton in a blue variegated. This can be done on any rigid heddle loom. We have the 24 inch version and we also have a 15 inch version for those of you that have the Cricut loom. Hi everyone, today we're going to be weaving the blueberry waffle towels and I have my rigid head of loom set up here with two and three fourths yard warp set up or 99 inches and these towels will be 22.6 inches wide so measuring from the center over we'll do half of that 11.3 um, so we'll start all the way to the end and follow the warp order chart by starting with the natural cottontail eight. So in the first slot, we'll start with the cottontail eight in natural. And then in the next slot, we have the caterpillar cotton. So I'm gonna set the cottontail eight aside and tie on the caterpillar cotton. I love this caterpillar cotton. It's so soft and I love these blue variegated colors in the ocean. I'm going to tie on the caterpillar cotton and that will go in the next slot. And I'll carry that over to my warping peg. So then in the next slot we have the cotton tail in white. So once again, we're going to set the caterpillar cotton aside and we're going to tie on the white cotton tail. And that will be worked in the next slot over. Okay, and then in the next slot, we go back to the Caterpillar Cotton. So we set that aside and pick up with our Caterpillar Cotton. So basically, this will be natural cotton tail and then the variegated Caterpillar and then uh, cotton tail in white and then the Caterpillar. So it's alternating natural caterpillar white caterpillar and then you'll start over and do that all the way across so another fast way to do this so as we're warping a faster way to do this since every other slot will be the caterpillar cotton you can go across and just do the caterpillar cotton and then go back and do the white and natural. That's a lot faster way to do it so you don't have to keep switching on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so that my warping will go a lot faster. Here's my progress so far. I've warped all of the Caterpillar cotton in every other slot. So here you see every other slot has Caterpillar cotton. And I did that all the way across the heddle. Now I'm gonna go back and do the natural. So the natural goes in every fifth slot. 
So here we have it in the first slot, and then we had the white in the third slot. So we're going to do the natural in the fifth slot, and every five slots will have natural. Everything is going great so far. We have the caterpillar cotton in every other slot, and I've also warped the natural cotton tail cotton in every fifth slot. So we have the natural and the caterpillar warped, and now I'm gonna go back and warp the white in all the empty slots. So that will also be in every fifth slot. I finished warping the blueberry waffle towels and I'm ready to wind these yarns onto the back beam. But I want to show you how we use this faster method. There was 28 repeats in this pattern, so it was easier to warp all of the caterpillar cotton first in every other slot and the natural in every fifth slot. And then I did all the natural all the way across. And then I went back and did the white in every fifth slot. You can do it either way. That's a little bit faster way. I warped that in less than 40 minutes, and um, sometimes it takes a little longer if you're alternating the yarns as you go. So you can do it either way. It's totally up to you. But I wanted to show you that little tip on how to warp your loom when you don't have a lot of time. We're ready to go on to the next step of warping. And you see here we have all the yarns in the slots. So now we're, we'll need to transfer one of the slot threads into the holes. I've almost reached the end of my heddle where we have transferred one thread from each slot into the holes. And then we will be ready to tie the yarns onto the front beam. This is my favorite part of warping. It's really relaxing, and you see all the yarns just lining up. Okay, so we've got that done. And then you'll pull the front beam up. And I like to start from the center. And I take about one inch or so of yarns. And I just straighten them out. And I just tie those yarns onto the front. Once you have all of the sections tied onto the front, you'll go back and tie another knot to make sure all of them are tight. Just do a little tightening on each one as you go. Now we're ready to set up the loom for the pickup stick technique. You'll place your heddle in the down position so all the slot threads will be up and all of the whole threads will be down. You'll start at the side with the pickup stick under the first five slot threads and then over one, under one, all the way across. So as you do this, you'll see that all of the caterpillar cotton will be under the stick and all of the cottontail white and natural threads will be on top of the stick.
and you'll do this until you get to the last five slot threads, and all five of these will be on top of the stick. I've almost reached the end. All right. So we have, whoops, I see here that I made a mistake. I, I have to go back and make sure all of those caterpillar cottons are under the stick. Okay, there we go. Then you can push your stick to the back of the loom. And whenever you're not doing the pickup stick technique, the stick can always stay to the back of the loom. You'll only have to place the stick one time, just at the beginning. And then you can go ahead and bring your heddle forward and place it in the up position. And I have my threads nice and tight. Now I'm ready to weave here at the front. I have all the sections tied onto the front. And now we want to get these yarns all spread evenly. There's a lot of space here between each one. So we'll weave about one to two inches of waste yarn to get these yarns spread evenly. And then we'll continue with the pattern of one and a half inches of the single thread 8-2 um, cotton for the hem and then we'll start with the rest of the pattern. Now I'd like to show you a little bit of the pickup technique. We've started the towels with one and a half inches of 8-2 cotton for the hem and then we've woven 10 rows in plain weave with our natural cotton tail. Now we're ready to start with the pickup technique. With the heddle in the up position and the stick pushed back, weave one row just as if you're going to be weaving plain weave. And then with the heddle in the neutral position, so that means not either up or down, just neutral, bring the stick forward and place the stick on edge. Weave a row across. And push the stick to the back of the loom. Place the heddle back into the up position. Weave a row. I finished weaving the blueberry waffle towels and I'm ready to cut them off of the loom. I've woven my 30 inches of the pickup technique and I've, then I've woven 10 rows of plain weave and one and a half inches of single strand Aurora Earth 8-2 cotton for the hem. And then I've woven a few rows of my scrap yarn and I, I am ready to cut the towels off of the loom.